This is Diane Fossey, the real Diane Fossey, as she looked in the 1970s with her beloved mountain gorillas in Rwanda, Central Africa. Her passion for the survival of this nearly extinct species fueled 18 hard years living in the wild. And now it's the spirit behind this movie and this Diane Fossey, portrayed by Sigourney Weaver. She and her co-star Brian Brown endured two months in the Virunga Mountains with a small film crew. The conditions were exactly those faced by Fossey. We leave the, the tents at about 6.30 in the morning. We go for a, an hour's ride um, on the bumpiest roads you've ever been on. And at the end of the hour, you, you got out, your stomach was such a mess, you just wanted to throw up, you felt so bad. Then you would walk for two and a half hours to the edge of the, uh, edge of the jungle, up a grade, then you would walk for an hour into the jungle until a guide came along and said, OK, we know where they are now. And then we'd move off and find them in about half an hour and then start trekking them for about the next six hours. In general, the gorillas are so gentle and so interesting that you just forgot to be afraid. You, you just were so happy to be there with them. And, um, but even a friendly gesture can knock you about, can't it? Yes, they're pretty rough. Um, but in a way, that was a compliment. You know, they, they're very rough with each other. And, and the fact that they sort of became used enough to me to, to come and run all over me and give me a good swat every now and then, it was, it's just their way of communicating. I went up with fear on that first day. I was carrying fear with me. I mean, my, my conceptions of gorillas were as, as, as ferocious, um, no matter what everyone said there, um, but from King Kong movies and from seeing them in zoos behind bars, I could only think of, of gorillas as ferocious animals. Well, the, the truth is they aren't ferocious. That's what I learned after that first day was that they weren't. They weren't aggressive creatures. They weren't creatures that were um, out to eat me. They don't eat meat. I wasn't prey to them. Gorillas get caught in these traps. The mountain gorillas were threatened with extinction before Fosse came to these mountains. Native poachers and zoos all over the world were either killing them off or taking away the babies to captivity. Are you responsible for kidnapping this animal? How dare you break into if my I private property? If I ever see you or your meat wagon again, you'll be lucky if you don't end up in a wooden box. Could you help isolate for us what you think is the central issue or concern in both her life and the film? Well, I think for Diane, she felt that relationships with animals were on the same level as relationships between human beings. She never condescended to animals, or I think she had great respect for them. And I think the main issue that comes out is that the gorillas are so like us that if there's any way we can help preserve their species, we are closer to knowing how to preserve our own. The gorilla population now is half what it was 10 years ago. Your problem is decreasing gorillas. Mine is increasing people. <laughs> We're on opposite sides of the same problem. The numbers got very, very low when she was first there, but she's turned things around and I mean other people have carried the flame and hopefully this film will, you know, make its own small contribution, but numbers are beginning at least to hold steady and babies are being born. City kid, you know, mm -hmm. Stanford, Yale, suddenly there you are. Is that as big a contrast as you've ever had in your career? I guess so. Um, it was certainly the biggest challenge and most exhilarating experience I've ever had anywhere. You know, I, I would go and do all, all again in a second. And an image, a sound, or an odor, when you look back on those weeks spent over there, what comes to mind? I immediately see the gorillas' faces. Close up. Yeah. So Gurney Weaver, she saw them close up in Gorillas in the Mist. We're together in New York City. I'm John Tibbetts for KCTV 5.